Hello everyone, I'm Chris and welcome back to Nathan Five Chime. In today's video we're going to do a run of this train right here, the two centipedes, and it's pulling a 25 car train plus the caboose and we're going to see if it can go up the 3% grade and at the top of the grade there's a curve, maybe about an 080 curve and we're going to see how it does pulling this 25 car train. So let's see if they can do it. Stay tuned. Stop here and drop off some cars on the interchange park. We still got the passenger train sitting there. At station <clears throat> we're gonna make a cut here right after the second tank tr tank car this train does not remote control with a remote so I have to use the throttle <clears throat> this is gonna have to put it in neutral and Forward again. This is the interchange track here next to the tower. So we'll throw the switch. And we're going to put these cars here, It'll be interchanged tomorrow by the local.
So you can see it did make it around the curve without pulling the cars off the track. I've got the heavier cars up front here, but some of the rear cars were actually some Weaver and they're, they're really light. We need a conductor for this job instead of all this walking. So now we have our cars on the interchange track. And we're gonna head on back. <clears throat> head on out of here. Go back down to the lower level. We've got to turn the switch down here. <clears throat> We've got the back switch wired up. Now we got to go back and control the train as it goes down the grade. All right, we made it back. Our trip is done for today. So I'll show you a few things I've done uh, to get the, the trains running to this point. All right, we'll start over here at the far end where the grade uh, goes up here and around the final curve. I put this control panel in. This is one I just made out of some masonite and a paper piece of paper that I glued to it 
and shows the main line up there on the top. And then this toggle switch here, uh, I can throw it and change the direction of the switch. Now it's lined up for the main. So now the train won't come down the grade. And I don't have everything hooked up yet. We got two more buttons like this turnout here I have to hook up. These are actually gonna be power to the track, but they're not actually working yet. And then this will be my crossover down at the bottom of the grade. And I have, it'll have a <clears throat> red light if it's gonna cross over and two green lights if it's staying on the straightaway. And I also put this little switch up here. That's the one for my reverse loop switch. That's just on an Atlas turnout. So it's, it's back over there. So that's the Atlas and that's the Ross, the two turnouts that are controlled now. So I couldn't reach them from over here so I had to get them wired up before I could do any trains that ran through there. The last video I made I had to change it with a ruler, reach across and move the switch. I did put a few buildings on this little water tower and I've got a this engine shed. I don't know if I'm going to hook that up yet. Put some little signal towers up along here just for temporarily along with my station and another building there like a town building and just put that on also the vertical lift bridge and another station on the other side of the track and then I've got my tower here for controlling the main line and eventually, you know, like I said before, I have to build a, another table over the top of that yard. So that's why I'm not doing too much scenery yet or track work. Just wanted to be able to run the trains for a little while and see what I liked. Maybe I'll come up with some new ideas for track arrangements. So everyone, take care. I, this wraps it up today. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you again next time.